probably, probably, probably seen him before. Oh. Maybe like an hour ago. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington from the hit TV show Shark Tank. I want to tell you about my friend Ray Perez. Now, Ray is not only an entrepreneur himself, but he is really a brand builder. He helps many entrepreneurs build their brand. In fact, he's created the 360 site, which is a hub for all the social media. It gives an entrepreneur a chance to really launch with amazing power in the marketplace. And so um, Ray's done a great job helping other people. And, and this is why he's become a fantastic, successful mentor also to many entrepreneurs out in the market. If you're starting a business or you're building a business or you already have a successful business, you need to talk to Ray Perez. Ray Perez is a global branding expert. And I think you're going to find that he can help you take your brand to the next level in a big way. All right. How do I pause? Okay, so this guy help me out. Here. All right. So let's break down the testimony. A W E S O M E I L. All right. Let's leave it like that. That way. That, okay. Perfect. So let's break down all the components of that testimonial video. So number one, that's what we call a one person interview testimonial video. There was only one person talking and giving that testimonial. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Secondly, it was a Zoom testimonial video. Did you notice that? So he wasn't even physical. And now post COVID, it's changed the way that we look at Zoom and we now can leverage it because the biggest concern that our clients always had about doing testimonials is we got clients all over the place. We got clients in other countries, we got clients in other states. How do we get them in one place to do all these awesome testimonial videos? That's done now because you can do it via Zoom anywhere in the world at any time. Okay. So a couple components. You might want to take a pen and paper or get your cell phone out, take some notes. Otherwise, you're going to forget because I'm going to blast through this like a fire hose. So number one in doing a testimonial video um, is the testimonial questions. Okay. That's like the most important. Most people don't know how to ask the right questions. Therefore, the testimonial answers are not really speaking to the person you want to buy from you. Think about it for a second. They're going to they're gonna say something based on what you asked. So the better the question, the better the response. But that response needs to be speaking to your potential client's concerns and the results and benefits that your product and service provides. Because that's what they're going to buy. They don't give a crap how nice you are, how good looking, how amazing your service. None of that matters. What are the results? What are the benefits of the results? And what are the concerns and how are you addressing them so that you don't have to do them? So we have a list of, of six questions that we've been using for nearly 15 years. If you guys want those questions at the end, I'll give you my 360. Send me a text and say, send me the testimonial questions and I'll gladly give those to you. And this is like our proprietary stuff as a production company. He knows his brother how it is like this is our secret sauce but this is my gift to you guys for uh, here. okay so once we got good questions if you're shooting the testimonial yourself which most of you probably are going to do you're not going to have a professional team like me you might but if you're not always shoot horizontally don't shoot vertically i know that we're instagram and tiktok has changed the way that we shoot video shoot it this way you can always crop it vertically but when you're playing like this what are you going to see on the sides the big black lines right so we can always thank you buddy we can always chop it always shoot it horizontally always have them answer the question in a complete sentence that way you don't have to put the question in the video so for example one of our questions is what's the biggest benefit of working with ray perez the biggest benefit of working with ray is blank that's it. You don't have to show the question. You don't have to answer. They said in a complete sentence, you're done. Does that make sense? Saves you a lot of time. Little detail, but makes a big difference. I them smile when they start talking. Start with a smile. Because there's nothing like, yeah, Ray Perez is awesome. <laughs> what the heck? You know? So they might say some great stuff, but if they're not smiling and there's not that good energy, then there's going to be a disconnect. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So uh, answer the question in a complete sentence. Start with a smile. All right? Now, there's a couple elements that will elevate the value and the production quality of the testimonial video. And that's something called B-roll. B-roll 
is different shots that supplement what the person is saying. Now, there's actual real B-roll footage, like you saw in mine, which is actual footage of me, and then there's stock B-roll footage that you guys can get online. The same way you get stock photos, you can get stock footage, or you can put stock photos in a video. All you gotta do is put a little bit of motion to it, a little zoom into the picture, and it feels like it's part of the video. But it's so much more powerful when someone says something and you visually see a representation of what they're saying than just them talking to you the whole entire time. Shit gets boring and the people lose their attention. And the whole point is we want to keep them engaged so they listen to what this person's going to say. So we answer all their concerns and questions, make you look like a rock star, and then you don't have to do the heavy lifting. The purpose of testimonial videos is so you don't have to sell your product or service. They do the selling for you. You just answer the questions and you figure out the logistics of how we're going to make that payment work and what's your particular situation. But you don't have to sell it because they do the selling for you. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. A um, little bit of music in the background is always good, as you heard, because it's not just so like bland, you know, quiet. Like, feel that? Right? That's why when I walked in, like, oh, you have a soundtrack? No, I know that you guys walk in, the room is dead. It feels different. I just put a little music on my phone, it breaks the atmosphere. Same thing with testimony video. Doesn't need to be loud, but a little track at the bottom. On the bottom, when, you, when their name comes out, that's called a lower third. It's good to put the person's name, their title, or their company, or something, and acknowledge who that person is. Because, you know, otherwise, just who's this random person just talking about you, right? I mean, so usually the name, their title if they have one, and their company is usually good. And that's called a lower third. Now, by the way, most of these things can be done with your phone. Is that lower third? Is that a well-known term? That's the video, 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 video. Yeah, you say lower thirds, he you knows exactly what you're talking about. If you guys have an iPhone, even an Android too, but an iPhone has iMovie. You could do the majority of everything I'm telling you right on iMovie yourself. Stupid question. Is that an app? You have it in your phone. Okay. Swipe I'm down. Ready for but I movie, and you're gonna see in three seconds, gonna be right there in front of you. You're gonna say, "Oh, <laughs> see." <There you> go. <laughs> All right. Any questions so far? Um, with the the imagery and even uh, like having some music track playing, uh, do you have to consider uh, royalty? Hundred percent. Great question. This goes a, maybe a little bit of line. When you're searching, either you're gonna pay for it, so you pay for the licensing of the video, the footage, the music, or you find what's called royalty-free music, videos, photos. 100% because the chances of you being caught in a video is a lot less than on a, a photo on a website, but it's still there. So just, it's not worth it, right? And it's, and it's not that expensive. It's not even a couple hundred bucks. You can also use Envato to find like stock footage. Yeah, it's a, and that's a, one of the membership platforms that has everything. It has video, footage, graphics, you name it. And Vado is like a whole uh, database of all these different uh, um, producers that put up their content. So, and it's a, a subscription based. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at another one. Now, by the way, all of these videos are one person testimonial, and they're about a person, which just happens to be me, right? So I'm gonna get into the different types of testimonial videos that you can get from the same person from the same time you interview them so you triple your content in a shorter amount of time. This is huge. Most, most people don't do this. Could you say that again? Sorry. I'm gonna get into it. Okay. Gonna, I don't wanna overwhelm you. Here we go. You guys know who Robert Allen is? Big real estate guru. Okay, so this guy right here is awesome. <laughs> A W E S O M E. I only use the use we use that word for the deity. Most, most people are always about selling something. And he's, he, he was so kind, he even gave me the pocket square out of his suit. I said, I said, that's what it is. I said, he said, here, you have it. <laughs> so uh, it's just, it's just a giver. And uh, so if you're looking for your brand, you need somebody that can show you how to expand your brand. This is your right here, which when I was 40, but before he was born, <laughs> the, I found somebody like him. <laughs> well, you have now, it's better now than others. <laughs>
All right, so the first one was a one person Zoom testimonial about a person, which happens to be me. This one was a live on location testimonial, one person about one person. Is this making sense? Yep. Because you can't always be prepared for the test. Like I'm outside, we're at an event, he's telling me how awesome I am. It's like, Hold that thought. <laughs> like, don't just tell me how great I am. Let me get this on video. How did you, how did you get it recorded? He was with me. Oh, he was with me. But I mean, I, you would have passed the phone to someone, held it to him, say, hey, just click record and held it to them. I mean, that's why the audio wasn't that good and stuff. But hey, you have the opportunity to have someone of authority. Like, he's a big deal in real estate. He's written, written so many books to get a testimonial video. And then you could chop it up and put stuff, music and lower thirds and B-roll and everything later. Get it. Get it in the spot. Okay. So this was live in person. All right. Next. This one's in a studio. What I like best about working with Ray Perez is his attention to detail and his amazing ability to just get into the weeds and integrate everything. The biggest benefit in working with Ray is he's willing to treat you and your business just like it was his own. I've watched the videos and the things that he produces for my friends, people that I know, and I know the attention to detail and care that he puts into everything because I've seen the work you know, like literally hundreds of times and I've just seen the output and you know, businesses that I own, CEOs that I support, that I work with, have all benefited from that attention to care and detail that he puts in. I constantly refer Ray to other people, uh, especially those that are looking to get kind of their personal brand in order, to get their personal operating system together, and to achieve a new tier in their business. Ray and I are married, so we are going to continue to work together in the future. So we have a business uh, partnership, and uh, I'm very excited about it and grateful for it. The person that would benefit the most in working with Ray is someone that really hasn't had a lot of exposure in the past, maybe hasn't attended a lot of events, and is kind of new to the, the publicity side of the entrepreneurial game. Somebody who really needs to get their presence, uh, their productivity, uh, and their profits up, but they need to start with the personal side that they bring to their business. All right. So I pick G on purpose because I'm demonstrating an in studio, what we call green screen a testimonial video because behind him was a green screen and then we could put whatever background we want. Okay. But I put him because G technically is not my client, but I still got a testimonial from him because he knows enough of me and who I am and what I do to give a testimonial. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is you might be saying, man, I don't really have a lot of clients that I can interview and get these testimonials. They don't have to be the client. Could be your best friend who's known you for 20 years and has watched you grow and can actually give a testimonial on your integrity, your character, and your work ethic. Because in the end of the day, that's what people are, are validating you on, right? The product and service only goes so far. Who they're buying it from is even more important. They got to buy you before they're going to buy the service. Does that make sense? And that's why these testimonial videos are so important because they say, you know what? I can trust her. She has my best needs. Okay, I'm going to do business with her opposed to the other travel professional because I feel, I feel that she has my best interests in mind. And remember, who, who was it that, uh, that's, who was in the beginning that said about the emotion? Oh, it was his brother actually talking about, I was like, no, dude, people make buying decisions based on emotion backed by logic. It's not what you think, it's the reality. So the idea is in all these videos, we're gonna make them feel emotionally connected to you. That's the purpose and the goal. And if you listen to the answers of his questions, that's exactly what we want the audience to hear because it's the question I asked him. The answer was perfect. You know, hey, this is the biggest benefit. This is what I like best. This is what we get out of it. These are the results that I get because that's what people are gonna buy. Results, benefits, and results. Make sense? Any questions so far? So this wasn't made with iMovie, right? 
Well, no, none, none of my stuff was made for okay. iMovie because I have a professional team. Sure, sure, sure. But I'm telling you, you could do it. You, I mean, dude, if you got a 12 or 13, the quality on this thing, I mean, is so good that you could get away with it and, and no one's really going to know the difference. And it's better than nothing to get you going. I'd rather you have something than nothing. Okay? All right, perfect timing, Mike. So this one is a testimonial sizzle with multiple people cut into it from a live event. Okay? The thing that I love best about working with Ray Perez is the fact that he knows what he's doing. And he's been there. I think another thing that I even add on to that is he's tested all of this, right? It's not just a theory for him. It's in practice. You know, I think the coolest thing about working with Ray is we kind of instantly bonded. We're very similar, similar in entrepreneurship, similar mindsets. I saw his presence. I saw his personal branding. And then he did a speech on branding. So as soon as I saw that, when he asked the audience if anybody wanted to be uh, involved in what he's doing, it just really eliminated any concerns. And I was more excited than anything. He really has a desire and heart to to give and create win-win-win scenarios. And he really does that, I see, within his team and with his clients and, and just how he you know, approaches his life and his businesses. I really feel like I came away with a lot of tools and a lot of skills and just a lot of knowledge that I didn't have before. And, and that was just really, just everything that I learned from Ray was just pretty impressive. He is really a brand builder. He helps many entrepreneurs build their brand. Ray's done a great job helping other people. And, and this is why he's become a fantastic, successful mentor also to many entrepreneurs out in the market. Ray, two thumbs up, buddy. Keep up the good work. Ray Bond. <laughs> So this is a testimonial sizzle, meaning there's multiple people in the testimonial videos. Now, everybody answered the same questions. Everybody went through the same process. We just chopped it up into a little bit longer story so that we can mix those, those um, you know, uh, perspectives from a variety of different people. But notice everybody talked about a result or a benefit. It was, they weren't talking about the yes, you know what I mean? Like when you listen to it, you're like, oh, I want that. Oh yeah, that sounds good. If your audience isn't feeling like I want that, then it's a, not an effective testimonial video. Does that make sense? There's so many testimonial videos that are ineffective because they're not asking the right questions. They're not structuring it properly. So one of the things I want to talk about is the background, right? Obviously, if you're on location, you're on set, like I did with Bob Allen, there's nothing you can do. But if you have a controlled environment, number one, either you want to have a pop-up banner that you can stick somewhere and have the person stand in front of it, the pop-up banner should have who you are and what it is that you do, which we refer to as an expert title and a unique selling proposition. You like that, right? Well, that would be your company. And we're gonna get into the different things. I'm talking about if they're having a testimonial about you. Think about it. If they're talking, every person that talked about me, who was standing right in the background for the majority of them? You. Me, yeah, look. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, it's subliminal. Like, you're not even paying attention, yeah. but I've literally, I mean, think about it. He's talking about this awesome guy. If I wasn't there, then you're only looking at him. But subconsciously, you're seeing and you're reading who I am that he's talking about. This little added piece to the puzzle makes a tremendous difference because it's subliminal. Yeah, no, for real. That's why this is what makes a badass testimonial video, right? Now, if it was a company or a brand, we'd have the company or a brand logo. If it was an event, if it was a service, because there's like if it was Empire, we put Empire. If it's BA, we PA. But if it's talking about Mike Calhoun, we want to have a picture of Mike, his name, his expert title, because who the fuck is Mike? I don't know who Mike is. Actually, I had a great idea. I was going to order the next meeting. Beard to put on. I love it. And then <laughs> everybody does a testimonial for me. They're gonna wear a beard. So when they're talking about me, they're actually me. Oh. And then it's like, <laughs> we can do a good spoof one like that, yeah. or maybe or get. Yeah. You should buy the little things. Yeah. You know the the, the the things where you where you hold in front of you yeah. with the yeah. optical stick. Yeah. Yeah. The more I hang with Mike Kelvin, the more I feel like Mike Kelvin. Yeah. 
when I look in the mirror, sometimes I see my yeah, It's just so crazy. We gotta get that voice change too. Right, we're, we're, we're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at it. Little speakers, little Michael Hoop speakers. All right. All right. So, so you you get what's happening behind the person giving the testimonial is as important as the testimony. Okay. Okay. He's good. He actually um, gives me uh, pointers, whether I like him or not. <laughs> he gives me pointers. He's like, hey, I saw this video. Here's what you could have done better. Da, 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 da. He is really good. So uh, you're in a good room. I'm going to see if there's anybody hanging around, and I'll pull up in here as well. Appreciate so, it. Yes, sir. Any questions so far? Should have videoed that right there. I know, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll get them later. Right? <laughs> you got that right. All right. <laughs> He's got it over so the, the, all of these up until now have been about a person, which happens to be the reason I'm telling you this, the most important testimonial videos that you probably don't have are about you. Does anybody have testimonial videos about themselves? You probably have testimonial videos about your company, but think about it. Who are they buying from? Could, can, do they make that buying decision on their own by just going to your website? Anybody here? That's my point, right? Now, if you did, then don't listen to what I'm saying. But for the most of us, we're involved in that buying decision. So before you talk to them, have them watch this video. Like, I literally make every single person I talk to watch the video before we start talking because I know that this will change their entire image, perspective, and, and, and perception of me in two minutes. In a minute and 40 sec 47 seconds, I change the whole way they're about to listen to me in this conversation. And I do it right on Zoom. Like I have them pull it up. Hey, watch this quick two-minute video. I shut up, put myself on mute, and I wait. And I let them watch it. I let this do all the heavy lifting for me. So understand that this is part of your sales process. Mm -hmm. Like this is the, the ninja part of your sales process. So you recommend doing it for me, Joe Dillon. 100%. Not ever. Or, no, 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 no. And. Yeah. Okay. It's no or, it's and. But what? But if I had to choose, you only had time to do one, I would do it about you. Personal. Got it. Excellent. Does anyone buy your service without you? No. Not right now. So what's the most important part? It's you. It's not the service. They right. like you. They trust you. You can sell them whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Does every, but does everybody like agree with that? Like if somebody likes, knows, and trusts you, has a need for what you do, you can sell them whatever you want. It's not about the product or service. It's about how do I feel about you, the person I'm about to buy from. Okay? All right. Now we're going to switch it over to a service. Now, they'll, they'll mention my name because I'm part of the service, right? But this is about the branding services that we deliver. So notice, same questions. All we did was change Ray Perez to branding service. Okay? Here we go. Just the attention to detail. Working with Ray Price has been awesome. His team has been awesome. It is amazing the amount of uh, attention to detail that really went into every little small intricate thing from every moment and shift. So it's been an absolutely amazing experience overall. But he just knows what to do, how to do it, and, and really just plugged me in so I could start moving forward with it like right away. Everything just moved along. It wasn't just Ray prepared, but it was the entire team. The knowledge is super valuable and his willingness to share it is second to none. What I like best about working with Ray is that he's very hands-on. He takes everything very serious, uh, even the minor little small details that you overlook, whether it be something super minor like a dot where it shouldn't be or a certain color. He tries to establish a relationship and his whole team is really amazing to work with. There were things that I wanted to get done for months that I got done in just two days. And that is absolutely incredible. The biggest benefit with working with Ray Perez is that A, you're branded. B, you get noticed. C, you start getting a lot of attention and a lot of calls asking what you're doing, how you're doing it, and why you look amazing. <laughs> Any entrepreneur or business leader that is looking to have their opportunity to grow sales market share uh, needs to work with Ray Perez and his team.
I would definitely refer Ray to others. And the reason being, once again, is he does a very good job of showing you what it is that he can do for you. Uh, and I feel he exceeds those expectations as well once you start working with them. If you're thinking about doing something with your own personal brand and you want to be recognized in any way, shape, or form, raise the key, period. Okay, so I, this is a rate for SS1, but I wanted to notice in the background, could you tell which one was a green screen and which one was an actual banner? Did any, can I anyone tell? I because it's, it's, it's subliminal. It just flows. It's, it's, it flows good. And that's what we want. We don't want anyone to notice that you're trying to do something. It's just like, I didn't even notice. But subliminally, you notice because it's in the shot and you see kind of like he's looking at me, but he can still see what's happening over there. It's the same thing. This person's talking, but you can still see what's happening over here. Every single one of those was an actual live set. None of those were green screen. But we can't tell from the previous video that was green screen. That's the magic about all this that we can do. Okay. Now, this next one is about the service, right? It's about an event. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody do events? Events? No? Are we considering doing events? If you are, make sure you talk to me because that's one of our specialties events. So, this is our VIP branding um, experience. This is like our what our clients come to do. You so, have like three packages, though, don't you? Yeah, correct. correct. Okay. So this is like our higher level package. People come for three days and they do everything. And this testimonial video is about that experience. They were shot the same day. They shot my testimonial video at the same time with the exact same questions. All we did was say, what do you like best about Ray Perez? What do you like best about the VIP brand experience? All you do is switch. So when I send you the testimonials, you'll see in parentheses, it'll say business slash company or person and you just add whatever but you go through the questions for the person you go through the questions for the event you go through the questions for the service you ask them three times the same questions plugged in something different you got three different testimonial videos in 15 minutes nobody does that and they're very good because if you ask the right question they're saying the right information they're doing the selling for you you don't have to do the heavy lifting you just say hey did you get a chance to watch my video? Oh, no problem. Here, let me send it to you. Click on that. Watch it. It's only two minutes. And you sit there and wait. No one's going to tell you, no, I'm not going to watch your video when you're on Zoom with them. And, you tell you, and you're sitting there waiting. <laughs> really so they have no choice. But you know that it makes a difference for you because they're going to listen to you completely different after the experience. You do this on sales calls, you said? Every sale. Well, I do, I'll do. i get into that in just a moment, how and where I interject all these different videos. Yeah. But I do it when I first meet them. I use my 360 site to get it in front of them, and then I do it when we get on the call. So I, I do three times I'm getting videos in front of them. So let's say like, let's say like, uh, so I have coaching programs, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say someone's get working on a discovery call with me, it's really my team, to do potentially kind of coaching. Would I do like a coaching, like the coaching testimonial, would I still do? Well, number one is, do they already know who you are and how badass you are? So we would do a testimonial video about you first. What are all the benefits of working with you, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then we can, I mean, because coaching and working with you is literally almost the same thing, yeah. that video is probably good enough. Now, if you were trying to offer some retreat that you've now decided to do, then there'd be different. What I liked best about the retreat was blank. Mm -hmm. That's different than what I liked best about working with, you get it? So that, that's how we start figuring out what the, what the, but you want to know this ahead of time because you don't want to bother people asking for testimonials. When you get them in front of you, you want to maximize that opportunity, like get three testimonials out of that person in 10 to 15 minutes and they're good. You don't have to ask them again and bother them because it does get a little annoying to have to do testimonials more than once. Okay. So that's just a little caveat. Okay. So this is for an actual event. best was how much we got done in such a short amount of time. I mean, I've only been here for two and a half days and I just look at all the content that's been created and how it, it's like empowering, right? I'm getting to the point, I'm creating all this foundational material, all these things that I've needed, but not only that, I'm not even going home yet and I already have tools in my hands that I can leverage, things that I can use. Anybody that is um, an expert in their field that is looking for 
ability to really get solid branding and increase their prestige and their credibility and um, just how they show up in their area of expertise in front of the clients that they want to serve. That's, I think, one of the biggest helps is having this experience be able to bring it all under one place and under an umbrella that makes sense and is organized. My biggest concern before coming to the VIP and experience was just, will I get my money's worth, right? You know, it sounds really good to come to Miami. I mean, the beach and the palm trees alone are worth like, hey, maybe I should just go check this thing out. But, you know, getting there, the professionalism of Ray and his entire team, everybody I worked with, um, you want to not trust the concerns. Probably the biggest concern was being able to make sure that I could get my voice out. The team did an incredible job of helping to put it into the right language, powerful language, but in a collaborative way, right? I never felt at any moment like somebody was trying to force their ideas or their opinion on me. It was very collaborative and just a great experience to overcome that concern because then we end up with a product that everybody loves. The VIP branding experience I liked best about it was being able to have professionals show me how to put all of my websites and different assets and everything all in one place. So it was really organized. And I feel like now I have tools to be able to show up myself more professional, not all scattered everywhere. So I'm really grateful for that. I think anybody looking to upload their brand would be wise to look at the VIP branding experience especially if you're a leader of a company, uh, entrepreneur, coach, speaker, somebody somebody who has a, a little bit of an audience and you want to grow that audience, you want to get to bigger stages, um, bigger impact, it'd be, it'd be a wise investment in your, your business and yourself. Now, this one is a little bit longer because we had a lot of content, but I typically don't like to go over two minutes. So this one went to 237. So for me, it felt a little long, right? I don't, oh, I don't know if you felt it. I felt longer. Long. But, but two minutes should be your goal to stay under when you're doing a testimonial system. Now, if you're just doing a one person testimonial, 60 seconds and 90 seconds max, because there's only so long they're going to listen to one person talk. At least there was diversity. There was a woman, there was a bald guy, there was a guy with a beard, right? There's, there's diversity so you can listen a little bit longer to those little chunks, but they're not going to listen to one person just talk for two minutes. So that's important. They're all testimonial videos, but how you structure it and the length of it is actually really, really important. All right. So last, let me see, this one. Okay. So this is, this is event specific. And event specific. So if, if you're ever doing an event, you want to have people give a testimonial about the event, right? Because how are you going to promote the next event? But while you're getting them to give testimonials for the event, you're also going to get testimonials for whoever is the person who owns the company that's putting on the event. And if they are a client that's used the product or service. So then in that same testimonial, event, service, person. Same questions, just Change the thing that's in the parentheses that I'm going to give you guys. Okay. So this is our business growth bootcamp event. And this is cool because we mixed in live and we mixed in virtual on Zoom. So you get to see what that looks like because people are concerned about the quality. I think what stood out for me the most was uh, the level of authenticity and genuineness. And I'm super intuitive and can see through all the deceit that's out there in terms of the marketing world. And uh, that's kind of been my journey, but um, I don't know whether it's techniques. I boil it down just to being a heartfelt person and coming from a place of integrity and divinity, if you will. So I feel that with both you guys, it's just been a real privilege to learn from you both today. When you uh, take yourself out of the jar and look at the label, like we did today, it just kind of zeroed in on a, a different way to say, the same exact thing that gave it more validity to the uh, viewer and the customer to make it more clear, to give it more clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like going from, okay, now we knew what we did, we knew who we were or are, but we weren't sure how to clearly communicate that in a clear, concise, and consistent way. So now that we can c communicate that, now it's easier to be willing to go on video Mm -hmm. to say who you are and what you do because the, the issue at least for me personally was the message wasn't clear to me so I wasn't sure how I was going to make it clear to them. Uh, 
for what I do. So now having that clarity will make me much more comfortable in going in and say, hi, I'm Robbie Matthews. I'm your financial DNA country professional. So notice all of it, all the testimonials were on, were on Zoom. And, but all the footage was live. So it still made you feel like you were part of it. The quality didn't really lose. And then everything we heard from them, we basically asked them the same questions. True. If it was just that Zoom video. It Fucking was horrible. horrible. Yeah, but that's just why so I need to show it to you because if you would have just watched her talking there the whole time, you want to shoot yourself. <laughs> I mean, it just is what it is, right? So you got to think, well, I got a great testimonial, but if I don't slice it up properly, yeah. it's not going to be as effective. And the music sometimes is also good. Yeah. All, and the lower third. And so it, it's all of those little, it's like when you go to Disneyland and then they have, you know, you're going in the circles and then they have the little things. So you're in line and you're watching the thing and then you go, and then you go inside and they're like, oh shit, there's another line and then there's music. Why do you think they do that? Imagine if you just stood in line at Disneyland with no entertainment, no music, there'd be suicides in line. <laughs> they, so it's the same thing. We're, ta- we're just pulling them through this little journey. But while we're doing that, we're really selling you, we're selling your product, we're selling your service, we're selling your product. Make sense? Yeah. All right, I think I have one last one. last one. Yep. Okay, very good. Okay, so this oh. one is service, all right? So you guys all know the 360 side. I think most of you have one. If not, you will have one, got you. Um, so the 360 side is one of our products. So this is a testimonial video about a product or service, right? <laughs> I'm not a technologically savvy person, so for me, um, it, it sounded a little bit scary at first. I thought it was going to take a little bit of time, but it was super easy. There were just so many easy shortcuts that I had no idea existed. My biggest concern was trying to get everything in one place because when people would ask me things, where, where is this, where is that, and trying to remember each site, the name of it, because sometimes they're a little different. It was nice. They're all in one place, 360, and you're good. Well, before having a 360 site, my concerns were how do I let people know about all the various different enterprises that I have going on without giving them confusion. I've done it in the past and I've ended up with lots of confused looks and stares of like, well, so what do you do? What's, what's your business? Where's this is now clear and concise. I just direct them to my 360 site. And what happens is they can go in there and check out all of my details in their own time without any pressure. And it's very straightforward for them just to go through, oh, yes, we did this, and this, and this. Okay, that's great. But now I know who he is. So the concerns question is probably one of the most important questions that you ever ask. Benefits and results are great, but addressing the concerns that we know that they have before you're going to sell them is key. So when I send you the questions, one of them is, what was your biggest concern before working with blank or using X service? And then how is it addressed? Because then once you have four or five of those, it does all the heavy lifting for you. Because your client, your customer voiced the same concern that this future client or customer has, but they resolved it for you. So they don't have to be embarrassed to ask you and you don't have to address it. So it takes a lot of weight off your shoulders. Make sense? Any questions? Legality questions you were asking. Got right. some legal questions. Yeah, because uh, I was in uh, Chad's synergy sphere yesterday and we were talking about referrals. Um, anyways, this topic came up about coaches and how they're cracking down on coaches. And te- the, te- the specific topic of testimonials came up. And they were saying that they're cracking down on testimonials too. So I just wanted to. So let's get specific on, on what you shouldn't be saying. Like, we don't want to be talking numbers ever. Nobody said, Ray, help me make a million dollars. Because that becomes a legal issue. Okay? They they talked about the different, how much time we got? Just letting you know, you're at a five minute warning right now. Oh, we're, we're, we're literally And then we're going to take a 15 minute break after that. So bathroom, drinks, whatever you need to do. We'll see you back in the room at uh, 3.50, exactly. Okay. okay? Thank you, sir. Cool. All right. So, um, Yes, if you're making claims, that's when you step over legal boundaries. Got it. Okay. So okay. I just do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no claims. Numbers. Basically, no numbers. It's basically no numbers. Like nobody here, not one person said X number or anything. You know, yeah. they say, you know, like he's allowed me to grow my business in a way that, I, you know, 
Um, he, he's given me clarity, he's given me direction, he's given me a blueprint. He's allowed me to become more, more effective and, and functional in, in my business. He, you know, but it's not like he helped me 10 X my, my business. So the moment you start doing that, now you're stepping on legal lines for sure. And if it's documented on video, fuck. Because one thing is you set it in a room and it was just us. But if it's on video, then they have a record of it. And then that could be a big problem for you. So yeah, no, no claims whatsoever. But there, I mean, but I mean, this is good enough. This is all you need for people to buy from you. You don't need to say that yeah. for okay. people to buy from and you. And maybe I have like a just this, like I used to say it all the time, and, and I, I did. I helped my clients get this amazing results in real estate. And um, it yeah, real estate's sucks. one of those markets where it's like they're cracking down. Able to you have no that. idea how multi-million dollar real estate companies crushed down, out of business, because the SEC comes in and just... You start off with a clunky car, and I went and went there, and then you drive away in a Lamborghini. <laughs> Don't see them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's the story, right? Exactly. <laughs> those, those videos, right? Subliminal. Be careful with those. So yeah, you, that, that was it, right? Diego, there's there's nothing yeah. else? There's, there was no more. So, yeah, that's the story. Oh, that's us. You guys have your own studio? Yeah. Because I saw a couple of the Ferris wheels at your... Well, that's that's in our, so for me i'm just blessed that i live it's in the center visual. of miami right so i have my studio and then we take our clients out in the escalate and we have all these different locations where we know it's gonna because remember and, and here let me let me add this i'm not trying to like falsify anything i'm not trying to make people look like something they're not right so part of our vip branding experience is that you get to experience what it is to be like a vip celebrity like what it is to be a movie star and actor. And it's a lot of work, by the way. It's not just all the glitz and glamour. Awesome product, a lot of work during the day. And But I'm not like a renting a Lamborghini and making you look like you own a Lamborghini. I'm having you go through an experience. So like the Aston Martin, that the green I ate, those are all my vehicles. And you're my client and we're working together and you get to drive my vehicle and I'm documenting you driving my vehicle. So it's a little bit different than you rented a Lamborghini, parked it out in front of a house that you rented on Airbnb and start because that's a lot of the stuff that they do and that's the stuff that they're cracking down and that's the legal issues so the way we do it is very classy it's very you know but we also do know that a very nice car a yacht that you're walking by does get the eyeballs so I do want to leverage what works but there's a line to walk on we're not trying to falsify and lie we're not trying to be out of integrity but we do want to get attention and we do want to make you look like a rock star right so be you specifically, because you're the young guy in the room, be careful with that because you could be making a shitload of money and then you could get arrested and you can go to jail or you can lose all your money. And it's not, it's just not worth it to try to fake something. You know, there's ways to position, but not fake. There's a difference. And, and you have me to consult you on that, you know, before you do something because, because you don't realize it. And then next thing you know, it bites you in the ass a year later and you lose everything. And it's happened. Go ahead, man. As I'm listening to you talk about like not being able to list specific numbers and things of that nature, to me, I almost think that it's it seems like it would be more productive to have a general statement about like how working with you has benefited that person rather than this person um, raised my revenue to X dollars. Because if you, and then if another potential client sees that, and they don't necessarily believe that that's possible for them at this time. They might just, I mean, I'm just saying I've done this before years ago when I had a very limited idea of like what was possible for me, I would see somebody say like, oh, well, I was able to double my income or whatever. And I'd be like, they did that, but I can't do that. But if they had said, um, you know, this revolutionized the way that I interacted with clients or did business, I'm like, I can revolutionize the way I interact with clients or do business, right? It's like, it helps them see themselves. Maybe I'm just going off the... No, you're the right. It's just I, that I numbers do excite people and it does sell. Year. It just, it's just, it's like sex. Yeah. Sex, whether we agree with it, whether it's good or bad, as we oh. realize, <laughs> sex sells. And, it's, and, the, and the numbers sell because yeah. what you're really selling is the dream. Yeah. And people will always buy into the dream, but then they'll be disappointed. And that's when the lawsuits and the problems come afterwards. Because not everyone is going to have those same results. Yeah. And that's why you can't make those claims because not everybody is going to get the results. And usually the best results you have are usually the smallest percentage of your clients. It's the 20% that gets the big results and not the 80%. So 
let's say I start, um, you know, connecting with some of my clients and get video testimonials from them. Uh, that's fine, but even as you pointed out, just putting up a video testimonial of somebody talking without all the flash and everything else in the video, people aren't going to want to watch it for one. Um, and while I could, you know, I'm a techie guy, so I could, you know, put some stuff in it, but for one, I wouldn't have time to sit down and try to do all that video editing, and, uh, nor would it be uh, anywhere near the professionalism that um, you've shown us. So what's your recommendation for something like that? Talk to Diego. And he'll set you up. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a valid, uh, um, you know, different people have different resources. And you said something really important. It might not really be worth your time. Even if you could, sometimes, I always say, if you think hiring a professional is expensive, yeah. try hiring an amateur. It's going to cost a lot more, right? Sometimes we try to do it to save some money, and it freaking ends up costing us three times as long because time is money, right? So talk to Diego. We have all different types of packages and processes depending on what you want to do. I personally like to triple dip. I like to make win, win, win scenarios. So if we wanted to do some videos, good testimonials for your business, we would figure out, all right, how do we get testimonials for you? How do we get testimonials for the product? How do we get testimonials for something else? So when we take the 10, 15 minutes with your client, we're triple benefiting for you. And we don't end up with three testimonial videos. We end up with nine testimonial videos for three different things. And now you have tons of marketing materials. And that's how I built all my packages. I don't ever do like one video. I always try to get three to 10 videos out of one package. And it ends up saving the client a couple thousand dollars and you get so much more out of it. And this is foundational stuff. You'll use this in everything you do. So the last thing I'll say is when I need someone and you know, we connect like you are here and we're going to put them on a calendar and a call with us, I always send them a video, two minute video to watch because I know if they watch that two minute video, there's the likelihood of them showing up to my calendar appointment goes higher. I do a whole training just on calendar scheduling because people don't realize that setting the appointment is not the goal. The goal is to set the appointment, have enough value in that person's perception so that something more important does not pop up and they show up to the damn call. Because if they don't show up to the call, then you lose all your power and you have to follow up with them and then you waste time. So when do you send them the video? After we schedule our call. We schedule our call, but hey, here's a quick little video so you learn more about working with me. What, and my if, team. what if that's automated, though? You can, you know, 100%. You can automate it. That's and one then your, that's one of your three. That's one. That's the first one. Second one would be the 360 because it's all there, and I let them choose what to. And the third one is when we're on the call, I make them watch another video. <laughs> so three videos before we even have any sales conversation. Yeah, yeah, love it. Love it. Yeah. Wow. Cool. That's good. Good. You like that's that? Good. Yeah. Awesome. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we got it on video, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you see, look, triple videos here. All right, guys. What, what type of shit? Well, that's all. Oh, I gotta show you that. That's pretty badass. That's good shit, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. I just sent. I just sent you a text for the, text for the question. All these You're great content. Right you can now yeah. plug in your husband. He never listens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm building mine back. Right. Hey, pleasure, man. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for being in here. I love your magic. Oh, thank you. So, what does this one do? So we right now are we're broadcasting, we're broadcasting through um, what do you call it through Streamyard. So I just broadcasted to Facebook.